This is Prasad Naidu here from Lighthouse Insights and today we have Nishad Ram Chandran who is the VP and Digital Head at Hansa Security. Hi Nishad. Hi uh, Prashant. Great to sort of be on your platform. It's uh, possibly one of the smartest uh, new sort of uh, media properties out there and a lot of my colleagues here go to Lighthouse Insights for insights all the time. So great to have you uh, and talk to you just now. Good to hear that uh, that kind of uh, feedback from you. Uh, Rishad, um, to begin with, um, how things at your end? What's keeping you busy uh, right at the moment? Yeah, I think the whole aspect that India is going to be a mobile and a digital sort of country. Yesterday I was, talk uh, I was in a conference with where Rama Dijapurkar was talking about and she was talking about how mobile phones really are going to be like doing what uh, mo uh, you know motor cars did to America in the, in the 30s and the 40s. Really, in India, uh, it's the mobile phone that's going to transform this country, and uh, you know it's great to be in a in a in a space where we do a lot of mobile and one-to-one -one, uh, driven communication, and uh, that's the opportunity that uh, lies in front of us, and it's exciting times, I can say. Nishad, um, I've seen your profile, 20 plus uh, years of experience. You've right. seen the entire, I think, uh, digital uh, evolution in this country. Right. Uh, and interestingly, I was going through your LinkedIn profile and I found that you're in English uh, literature. Right. Right? Yeah. So, uh, we, I would love to know how the shift happened from a literature person into a marketing, which is actually, I find it a bit rare. But, uh, you know, Nishad, maybe you can uh, give a little background about where you grew up, how was your good old uh, younger days, and, yeah. and how did you land up doing uh, literature? So. Right. So I kind of, uh, you know, was born and uh, brought up in Kerala, uh, you know, a little town called Kannur in uh, northern part of Kerala. And I, I, my dad thought that I was uh, good enough to go to the army because uh, there were a lot of army types in, our, in my home. And uh, so he had put me in military school. So I went to military school, kind of uh, spent uh, seven, eight years in the boarding there. And uh, by the time I kind of uh, reached class 12, I was sure that military is not the place for me because I was uh, bad at taking orders from people. So, so I kind of got back to Kerala, did my college, and in the final year, you know, I was uh, kind of helping a friend uh, in, the, in the college election. So I'd written some posters and, and uh, one of the profs came and told me that, hey, you seem to be writing well, why don't you join advertising? And that's really the first time I heard the word, you know, advertising in that sense. And, uh, so I said, why not give it a shot and, uh, you know, the rest is history that I'm, I'm sitting in front of one of the smartest guys around, uh, Prashant Naidu from Lighthouse Insights. Uh, go on. <laughs> 20 years of experience and here is three and a half years of experience. Yeah. Um, new definition of smart. <laughs> I'll keep that thing there, there only. Uh, Dishat, uh, you started with the Bangalore agency. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, you have a profile, like, you know, I can go on mentioning those names. What I want to know is that, uh, obviously, we've seen, uh, we've seen a lot of things. How has that evolution from that Bangalore agency guy to today? Right. Uh, if you can just summarize, I know it's not going to be easy, but. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I think I was always a curious guy, you know, when I was in school, my one of my teachers used to kind of, uh, we were in military school, I, like I said, and, and every daily thrashing was like a way of life for us, you know, hockey sticks and, you know, sort of ragada as we called it those days. That was the way of life. And one, one, one of my uh, teachers used to tell me that I always acted like a curious guy who had just come into town, you know, and I was looking this way, hither, thither all the time. So, so uh, you know, for years I didn't understand what he meant, but uh, when I joined advertising, I realized that, hey, that's a great sort of value to have, which is uh, curiosity and kind of keep asking questions and, you know, sort of uh, get excited about the silliest of things. So, you know, a toothpaste with clove oil used to kind of, uh, you know, make us lose sleep over the opportunity that, uh, you know, we could, we could kind of go out and convince people, hey, here is something wonderful uh, that, you know, you can bring to your lives and change your life as it were. So that's, that curiosity, I think, kind of uh, held up as far as I was, I'm concerned. And I think uh, I mean, 20 odd years, years later, I can still say that, you know, I'm a curious guy. And even today uh, at seven in the morning, I'm sort of excited to come to work. And uh, I think that's, that's a sort of something that I don't want to lose ever. And, and I have two children and, and I hope I can pass that sort of virus uh, over to them because I think that's kind of brought me uh, from that little town in, uh, you know, some part of the world, you know to actually having this uh, seat in one of the uh, most exciting agencies out here. Great. 
Is it that curiosity of uh, in advertising um, ended uh, or landed up? to a digital world uh, was that curiosity or was there some because i see your profile and your last uh, you know working of venture was with i contract right right and that was more of advertising right uh, right and here you are the head of digital right. so we all know that okay uh, you know digital is the next thing and things sure. like that sure. but i when i see you as a person obviously that wouldn't be the only reason why you shifted was that the curiosity part or was there something more to that to it so i think curiosity is uh, you know one has to keep asking questions one has to say that hey uh, what's the new thing out there that's also a sort of a, a kind of a quest that uh, personally i've had and i remember in 1996 when the uh, vsnl started to give out internet uh, accounts in this country i was uh, one of the early guys i think i used to have a old uh, macbook uh, a computer those days and i went and bought a modem and you know struggled to get uh, internet access at home and and started to realize the power of this medium so uh, while i was still a traditional copywriter and uh, you know doing uh, print ads and tv spots and things like that i was saying that this is a tsunami that's going to change the world digital marketing and digital uh, and the internet as it were and so i i kind of while my job profile per se was about uh, you know writing ads and all that i i just believe that uh, digital was the future so uh, even you know when i came to bombay and started working in initially in, in ssc and vlintas and then to uh, contract back to contract from you know so, so uh, when i moved there i was keen uh, of, uh, to join i contract because a lot of interesting digital work was beginning to start to happen there and uh, so it was very natural that uh, you know that was where the excitement was so my curiosity obviously sort of took me there and uh, you know rest is as i say you know uh, kept on learning and kind of identify new opportunities i remember in in you know uh, late uh, uh, or around 2006 i think when we went out and uh, you know did Uh, uh, a kind of a social media campaign when the word social media really wasn't there and uh, you know in fact two of them one was for visa uh, you know we created a crazy website and you know we did some work on flickr and youtube and all that and then we did the great driving challenge with mitsubishi you know again uh, a wonderful wonderful campaign and, and really saw the power of and the potential of going one to one with people using digital tools and uh, you know those were the learning early learnings you have spent your entire uh, you know uh, professional journey in advertising right right, right. Uh, and advertising has changed overtly totally, yeah. right and you're the best person to you know uh, share your thoughts from where it started and to today what you see is at advertising what's what's your thoughts on and how it has like what do you think from your point of view yeah i think uh, one is the huge uh, fragmentation that's happened uh, i was reading somewhere the other day there are some 750 uh, tv channels out there uh, as we speak so so where do you put your ad where people can see it i mean that that itself becomes a huge challenge you know so i think the opportunity today is to go where people are and and really the fact that you know people seem to be having you know fancy mobile phones smartphones uh, internet ready tablets and things like that and that's where young people or people with money are and that's where brands need to be that's that's really clearly the the place so advertising really is moved to you know where people are, are so if young people are not reading newspapers then there is no point in putting a a print ad in a newspaper unless you do something totally so sort of out of the out of the way and it gets noticeable i i don't think a normal print ad is kind of driving anything to uh, you know most brands and and many brands that we work with second thing is on tv now uh, you know tv rates have not gone down despite uh, you know uh, people kind of doing time shifting and uh, you know switching channels and things like that tv is a very very expensive medium to buy and the fragmentation of uh, channels really make it very very difficult to kind of uh, you know get the kind of impact that uh, the grps that you need to kind of get campaigns seen and noticed so therefore what is the opportunity there the opportunity is to kind of find people in concentrated areas so if you go to facebook today which is possibly you know larger than any tv uh, channel in the in the country at this point or youtube really has become the biggest tv i mean without doubt is the biggest tv place for young people and for a lot of uh, older people as well to kind of discover uh, stuff that they are interested in and those are the places where brands are going and and today to kind of buy a media plan on youtube is uh, prohibitively expensive i think it's possibly google's most uh, you know profitable sort of acquisition ever is is youtube you know. 